Hi lovely people, here we are, you are in my house. Look around, you can see why virtual reality. It is unbelievable, you can almost touch me. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna do some filled pasta. Yes, we're gonna do stinky nettles with ricotta, with a little bit of nutmeg inside, some eggs inside. Gonna, you gonna love it, yes. And I've done a nice little sauce as well. My gosh, you're gonna love it. So, first of all, I just rolled some pasta out. You can see I've done some little squares. So I went round, because you can find almost everywhere by the world, find you some stingy nettles. You can see, this time of the year they're quite longer, but I only use the leaves. When you do collect a stingy nettle, make sure you collect a nice place and wear a pair of gloves. It is so important, if you're not, you get stung. Well, I've done. Collect the stinging nettles, put them inside boiling water, cook for five minutes, and while I was cooking those stinging nettles for five minutes, I even put some eggs inside. And the eggs, they're porous, they get all the flavor, everything of the stinging nettles. Then you crack it, and you only get some lovely yolk of eggs. It's almost greenish outside, but lovely yellow inside. So, squeeze it out, all the stinging nettles, because you can't use it when it's fresh and then start to, to actually slice very, 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 very fine. By the way, if you hear some noise, you know, children screaming, you know, airplanes goes by, you know, people say hi, birds are singing. This is the beauty of virtual reality. It's real, and you feel like you can touch me. Go on, touch me, touch me. Do you want to do, you want to do it? Yes, you can do it. So, there he goes. Look how thin I cut him. Quite, quite, quite thin. Come on. Yeah. Then again, make sure you cut him quite thin. After you squash all the fluid out, just put him in a bowl. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. You can ask for the ricotta. This stage I need about a quarter of a ricotta. This is 250 grams. You only can use about 100 grams. Just put it inside and mix it. Mix it nice. You can see what I'm doing. Just nice mixing. You get some of Parmigiano Reggiano, which is good. Make sure it is Parmigiano Reggiano. Then you grate inside it about a couple of tablespoons. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Actually, I can hear some children. <laughs> hey, oh, how beautiful it is when you hear some children. It is a joy. They're so angelic. Let's have a look if I can hear some. Yes. Hello. I don't know what he said. I think they all want to come to eat my cappellaccio filled with stingy nettle. A stingy nettle, it stinks. But it's so good when you actually blanch it, you cooked it. And they're so delicious. So here it goes again. I put the ricotta. Stingy nettle and parmesan. Now, little touch of nutmeg, not too much, just a little touch. Enough, because it's quite, quite strong. And let me get the egg. This is what I was talking about. When I actually I cooked the stingy nettles, I put some eggs inside, and the eggs, they're porous. They get a flavor almost of everything. And then you can already see, you know, that bit of green or darkish inside. Look, if I do this, oh yeah, look at that. Can you see the color of a stinging nettle? But if I break inside, it is extremely, extremely yellow. But that's got the flavor of a stinging nettle. Just use about two of those. So easy, but also don't forget, I can eat this. because It's so tasty of a stinging nettle. And this is such a lovely flavor. And it goes again. I got another one here. Look at that. You can see. Really good. Then again, you break it inside. Then I put a little pinch of salt. Just a little pinch of salt. Because don't forget the parmesans. It's got a bit of salt inside. And just mix it. Look at that lovely. Look, get them all together. It's so fantastic. Yeah. Ah, yes. Come on, you don't actually have to do anything, just mix. So if you don't have a stinging nettle, what do you use? Get spinach, yes, will work. 
Also, you can put the eggs when you blanch the spinach as well. But the spinach, they really cook quick. So when you remove it, carry on cooking the egg because you want to hard boil it. Look at that lovely color, that lovely the yellow, that lovely bit of white, and that lovely dip of green of the nettles. Now, I'm gonna taste it. I'm sorry, I'm gonna put my finger inside and taste it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Come on, you taste that. Go on. Come on, touch it. Yeah, it is good. Right, on the side. Let's move this one. We've done the one things. There. Just let's remove this one. Virtual reality, but you see me, what is around. You can even see the water inside here, the sting and everything. I don't want to touch it. Stay there. All the plates and everything goes. Is there. <sighs> and this is what we're talking about. This is what I done early on. You can see, oh nice, I've only done a few because we want to test few. The pasta machine is still here. We leave this one. When you actually you do well in advance, the pasta, cover it with a little bit of cream film because you want to keep really dry and not dry, they will have to be a little moisture. Then you just put a little bit inside. You can see, then you close it. You can even cook like that. This is in a triangle, press it, and come on. Then again, get another one, just a little bit, not too much. Again, close it. Yes. I can hear the children. Ah, can you hear the children, huh? No, I can't. They stopped, perhaps they heard me. Again, a little bit more. We do this one. And that is done. Only gonna do three, because I got some already made, which is this one. Let's put it back with this one. Okay, let's move this one out. Let's cook it. Here, I put a lot, plenty, plenty water. Salt in water is very important. For each liter of salt, you need a five to seven grams of salt. You need about 100 grams of pasta. Those is boiling straight inside. Fantastic. Just put this one here. Actually, let me get the other plate because I want to put them inside the other plate. It's good. Move this one on the side. Got everything here. You can actually see everything, everything, everything. Whatever I'm going, you can see me. Stir them a little bit. Oh yes, nearly ready. Takes about a couple of minutes. Sauce is already done. I done the sauce early on. In one of my videos, I show you how to make it a simple sauce with garlic, chili, tomato, and basil. Nothing to it. The ravioli, they start to come up. Actually, they're already up. I need to warm it up this little bit of sauce, just a little touch. Come on, gadget. Do you know what? I remove this one. I'm gonna do quicker. Yeah. And I'm cooking on charcoal. Yes, charcoal, no coal, charcoal which I picked them up for my wood fire oven. Everything tastes better, I don't know why. If you can, please do. If you can't, guess, it's fantastic. Yeah, those right, you can see they're all up. The sauce, how strange, the pasta always cook faster than the, than the sauce. The sauce is here. Just pick them up because they're ready. Look at that. Oh my goodness me. Straight inside. Oh yeah. I love all this gadget. Right, let's put this one where, where, where? I should put them here. Ah. I need a spoon. Where's the spoon? This is the beauty of virtual reality. I can't find the spoon. Do you know what? I'm gonna find the spoon inside here. Because this is where I got all my spoons. And everything goes and fork. I 
Let's check my fork. Find another one. Find another one. I'll find another one. Where's the spoon? I can't find the spoon. I use fork, it doesn't matter. Come on. Let me saute a little bit. Oh, yeah. Got this one. The plate is here. This one we cut later on. Knife is here. And the spoons. Wooden spoons. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness me. Shit tasty. Nice done. Oh yeah. Can you hear the rain? It stopped. Actually it's raining as well. Just put a little bit of this tomato underneath because it's with a fresh tomato. Just put, let's put some ravioli. I call them ravioli because all the field pasta is ravioli. Oh yeah. Just a little bit more. You can really taste it, the tomato. I can hear P, 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 P. A lorry must reverse in my street. Oh, oh. P, 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 P. Never mind, P, P, P. I know while you're there, you want to taste my food. <sighs> yes, a little bit of this juice on top. Like this one. You got it? Let's put this one on the side. Fantastico. Let me get this cloth here. Let me get some clean it just on the side of this one. There is a lot of olive oil. I love olive oil. The greatest Italian inventions. Parmigiano. Just a lot of a Parmigiano Reggiano. Make sure it's Reggiano. Yes, it goes on top. Get a fork. Oh no, I forgot something else. Buon appetito. Make it home. It's quite easy. If you can't find the stinging nettle, use a spinach. I think it would be nice for you to go out on the edge of the world, a nice place, get a pair of gloves, start to cut it, blanch it. Don't forget to put all the egg inside, do the sack like the same, roll the pasta out, fill the pasta. And hallelujah. Arrivederci. Look, wherever I'm going, you can touch me. Touch me. Love you a lot. Can I? Yes.